You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's South Park After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's South Park After Show. We nerd. Wiener party, wiener party. Wiener, 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 wiener. Fluffy wiener. Fluffy wiener. One wiener next Fluffy to another wiener. Wiener, wiener, wiener. Oh my goodness. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, Philip Sans. Arigatou Ah, what an episode. What a conclusion. Titties and Dragons is the name of the episode uh, that concludes this trilogy of Black Friday. My God. We've waited. We've waited. We've seen wieners, and now we've ended it. And we saw Tom Hanks and uh, Beyonce get married. Uh, well, we didn't see them get married. But everyone loves them. They love them. They yeah. don't want them to die. Uh, so let's talk. Let's start with um, overall. What did you think of you know this as a trilogy? Eh, I thought I thought it was good. It was just kind of like maybe like a six or seven out of ten. Okay. Agreed. It was funny, but it's not something I'm gonna like reference and want to watch again for a while i mean next when game of thrones comes back on i'm going to be referencing it a lot mm -hmm. but until then i'm probably not going to realize the the beauty of it like if i went and watched game of thrones season three right now i'd probably be just laughing every time a wiener popped on screen or any time like somebody that we liked died We're like but we liked him like but right now doing this when game of thrones isn't airing fair enough i mean uh, we also had a week off for Thanksgiving and things like that, so it delayed it. I mean, typically, in the past, when I've seen these trilogies, I've been able to watch them back to back to back, so it's kind of almost been like a movie. Yeah. This this was a long wait. It was. Um, but overall, I, I, I did enjoy it. I think uh, there's a lot to take away. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a great satire, starting with um, they opened up with animation. I thought that was really clever. Oh, my God. I don't, under I don't understand why Kenny wanted to be a girl so bad, but... He made because a really in, adorable in Japanese anime animation, character. everyone loves the princess. She was a he, she was adorable. I'll give her credit for that. She was and what perky boobs. <laughs> Kawaii Kenny. Oh my god. Kenny-chan. What did you guys think of? I mean, they did a really amazing job at animating it. It was such a satire of anime. I, I thought it, it wasn't was great. It. it looked like anime. It was anime. But it's it it took like the base functions of anime and like packed them all in like one thing with like the oh let's randomly put the hearts for eyes let's yeah, do like the, the, the blushing and the, yeah. the oh, like it was it was very well done it was a very well done uh, parody of what anime is um, and I I liked how they were able to use old South Park references obviously such as Kenny dying <laughs> to humor without I mean we basically watched ten minutes of gibberish. But the funny thing is, I guess, if you look at it in the way of, uh, we were waiting for somebody to die. Because it's like, oh, they're, they're going to kill off the person we love most. That's why Randy's like, oh, we liked him. We liked him. Because, uh-oh, you can't like anyone in Game of Thrones because that means George R.R. R. Martin's going to kill him. Um, but they killed George R. They killed him. I know, but then you look at Kenny where everyone likes Kenny. And, yeah. like, the whole animation is how much they love him. And then it shows him die. And you're like, oh, fine. And then he gets back up and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, it's a superpower that the guy gave him. It's the, the jewel. Yeah. I like how all Kenny had to do was come down on a parachute and he just like, his cuteness charmed all the, what, it was all the Microsoft, PS4, or all the Microsoft, Microsoft ships boats. to stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, it, it was, it's very reminiscent of Helen of Troy. Mm, With her bit. beauty can send off a thousand ships. Oh. Wow. But her, she stops a thousand ships. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Game of the, trust me, Game of Thrones has so much reference to Greek mythology that you don't even know. You know that I don't even know because I don't know. watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. I but, do, but like I didn't read the books, so I don't know enough to like. I don't remember it as well. If you read a book, you remember it a lot better than if you watch the show. 
I, yeah. I think. Okay. So I don't know. Like I could, I could compare all the characters to people in the the show itself. Like even now, I can imagine who each person is, but I can't really remember the names very well. Like Randy is like the main general dude of the of the. Uh, I can't even remember it. <laughs> Order of the Knights Guard or whatever the Knights Watch. Yeah. He, with the scar on his eye and things like that. Kenny's Daenerys Targaryen, of course, because she's the princess. Whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> For those wonderful references. Trailing <laughs> off. Into um, okay, so the war. <laughs> We've been building and building in the slowest of ways to this Red Robin wedding, which I thought was brilliant because there's always a Red Robin next Attached to a, to a mall. mall. Yeah. And it made sense because uh, <laughs> it's the Red Wedding, Red Robin wedding. Um, I like I th things kind of moved in, in in that portion moved a little bit fast. Whereas you know they went from uh, their plan the the PS4 guys and all of a sudden the surrender. So now you know I appreciate. It. Oh, we have the betrayal. Finally, the betrayal happens. That's the that's the thing from Game of Thrones, I imagine. I mean, no, it's just uh, the the storyline with the red wedding in Game of Thrones is somebody lets somebody have access to something if they let them marry their daughter but mm -hmm. he goes and marries someone else instead and then they go back to ask for an alliance offering somebody else to marry their daughter and the guy complies and then at the red wedding it was the betrayal where every, everyone kills each other but like in this it's just Cartman was doing all the uh, the little foot things going around people and trying to betray everyone and the old guy is just the, the whistleblower well, it was uh, Kyle. It, it was Kyle who did betrayed Stan first and foremost. That is true. Yeah. So it was his idea. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm still I'm still trying to like wrap my head around what I just watched. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, especially because because you know it made a statement and then at the end, uh, you know, it, Carmen isn't satisfied, which is, which is a great B because you'd be like, okay, you know, I get that. You know, hey, we made drama. Do we really need Microsoft? Things like that. Nice note. You know, trying to get people more outdoors. I like that part of satire. And it's like, hey, the stick of truth. Yeah, bring, bring the game into it. I knew they had to end on that, though. They had to end on something about the game. But it was, all... it was brilliant because it was, it's, you know, he had the whole stick. Like, hey, we could play with this. It's the stick of truth. He's giving you knowledge. And... And it looked like a wiener. A tiny, <laughs> tiny wiener. I didn't see that, but... A okay. stick looks like a wiener. I didn't think Thank so. Thank you, Phil. George R. Martin, he would say so. Oh, a floppy okay. wiener. Chan channeling R. R. Martin, okay. <laughs> well, then Butters says, hey, if you believe that, then whatever, something about wieners. Yeah, if you believe that, then I've got a huge, giant dick for you. <laughs> for you all know, I of don't, you. I, I don't think I liked the ending. It's going to take a while to get used to. I'm I liked the stick of truth. That made me laugh. That bit where they promoted the stick of truth, I thought that was funny. But the actual where everybody was dead, I was like, okay, well. But you I knew that, that was going to happen. happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was kind of hoping there would be some other dumb surprise that would just. You thought there'd be more with the guards, like more fighting with the guards as opposed to just yeah. Randy running away and then getting yeah. trampled. You thought you'd get to see or more. Or like Beyonce and Tom Cruise or Tom Hanks actually show up and get, you know, something like ridiculous. Well, Stan, like Stan's father really didn't do that much. No. No. Not, he didn't do anything. He ran away, yeah. basically. He didn't even yeah, fight. but he, he opened up the mall for Tom and Beyonce so they could go shopping. And then he got his TV and left. Yeah. I, w I would have. I, I thought the uh, the footage of actual shopper was brilliant. I wish we could have had a little bit more yeah. cr craziness. The the don't took don't touch me Elmos. Yeah, that that would have been great. I mean, in terms of that, I thought there they did take it in terms of what actually ended up happening. There was so much blood. Yeah. There were three different types of animation in this episode there's like the anime the regular south park animation and then they use the footage of shoppers like real people doing black friday and i just think that's really funny that it's like what what is this show anymore it's a little it's a little bit of everything well, yeah. I, I thought it was funny i liked that yeah i thought the ironic thing about the ending is that everyone's trying to be the first 100 shoppers so they can afford this everyone goes in and kills each other nobody buys anything right. and then the kids are like the last people in they end up getting the discounts but then at the same time they all get Xboxes, but they're all at the same house playing them on the same one anyway. Like, why did they? <laughs> why does it even matter at that point? Well, the best was Randy walking out with the TV. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him looking at the camera like, oh, I got the TV. 
Well, then we got the TV at the end too. Like they were playing on Rand on his new TV. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I thought I thought that was funny. I would have liked this. You know, again, I always kind of torn. Is he what, what is he going to ultimately do? Because he's into this whole new role of you know nobody. <laughs> which, by the way, him killing the guy. We all loved him. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting him with a fucking arrow. Oh my goodness. Because I wasn't expecting Randy to have been the one to shoot him. Of course. I thought but the people I up top would have. Yeah, been. right? And then they just don't even go back to the people who were climbing yeah. up top. Um, in terms of surprises, um, I was not surprised by this, but apparently you guys were when the mode of transportation was horses. Oh. You called it, though. You were like, oh, because they have penises. And then it zooms out immediately. And you're like, A oh. Giant. I didn't know that he would have that giant of penis. Oh. <laughs> okay. That was the face I made. Just, oh, God. And fucking Scott Malkison's still, like, passed out from goddamn diabetes. <laughs> yeah, because he hasn't had pizza yet. Oh, still waiting on those pizzas. Yeah, yeah you guys want five pizzas? Five pizzas. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> oh my but it, it's it's also true in that the, the show Game of Thrones is just all lead up, lead up, lead up, lead up, lead up, lead up, lead up. Lead up and nothing. A uh, hundred times more. And then just a really short scene, and then cool down, and then the next season's lead up again. And then, like, last season was lead up until, like, episode eight, and then it was cool down the rest of the season. So it's just... Oh. Just like the reporter said. He was like, we're still waiting on George R.R. R. Martin. Uh, he's still not showing up, just like all of his dragons in his, yeah. <laughs> in his TV and the shows. zombies. It's just... This is exactly how it was. It's like all lead up. You know, you're kind of satisfied, but you're kind of like, you know, I could have wanted more. Could have wanted more like mayhem. That's the Maybe brilliance that's, of the... That's, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. why they did this episode, because we all feel so mad about it. Yeah. And it's just mirroring the way Game of Thrones... Oh, my God, I just had a... That's I what they want it. you to do, it. Epiphany. Yeah. Matt and Trey, they got me. Because here's the... I know... Okay, our friend Joe Gear, uh, who watches South Park and loves South Park... But he, he's very hit or miss. He'll love an episode or he'll hate an episode. I guarantee you he will hate this trilogy. Oh, Why? yeah. Definitely. Because of that fact. Because it's like, well, what the... Because they played a trick on us, pretty much. They didn't what play the a fuck, trick. They, 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 uh, let me do yourself a favor. The irony is that, yeah, they did it like Game of Thrones. Where you're like, well, I want more. What the hell was that? Yeah. Well, was this, the, this wasn't the season finale, was it? And then we got one more. One more. But in terms of the trilogy, that, that's it. Well, yeah, of course. But they they gotta just like throw kick it out of the park with this next tri with this next episode. Oh, I think so. I think they will. And I mean, for the number of commercials that were in such bad taste for Paul Walker, I, can't <laughs> I don't think that's their fault. No, I know, but if they if they watch it and they see that, I could see them maybe making fun of that next week. Oh, like I mean, making it... making fun of the poor taste that it has in it. Okay, yeah, because I, I mean the, the Xbox One. Because they're advertising Xbox literally every other commercial on Comedy Central. Yeah. So, like, I'm sure they know what their ads are between the commercial breaks. I mean, come on. Mm, maybe. I mean, possibly. Um, what did you guys think of the fight between Sony Guy and Bill Gates? Bill Gates is a badass. What were some of the tattoos he had? MS-DOS. R.I.P. Steve. R.I.P. Steve. MS-DOS. Yeah, the the year that Microsoft was founded on it. I forgot I, what it was. I just 1972. Yeah. I expected those two fighting to turn into everybody in the room fighting. I didn't really. I, I just kind of thought like Cartman would. I don't know. Well, because they were all just so confused. Like, hey, is, is this guy part of your betrayal? No. <laughs> is he part of your betrayal? No. <laughs> Why don't you guys fight then? Here's a fucking sword. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh... <laughs> They got really graphic with the Japanese guy. Oh, yeah, they did. They, like, knocked his brains out. And... Yeah. Well, they got graphic with him the whole trilogy. I mean, first we see him, he's fucking somebody. The next we see him, he's in bed with the fucking reporter dude. Back to you, Tom. Okay, well, this was his brain. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because that's graphic when you go through a mall and with blood, like, six inches deep and bodies everywhere. But this is his brain. It's this is the brain. thinking machine. Brains. That's the ultimate Xbox and Sony combined. I guess. Seamless thinking. Seamless transitioning between alive and dead. Um, I liked how they made us uh, stand out to be like a prisoner. Oh, <laughs> with the, yeah. With the bread. Banging the cup against the door. Yeah. 
He got betrayed, man. He got fucked over. It's like I, I try to think back to what happened in the episode, and all I can think of is the fucking Japanese animation at the beginning. I'm like, what else happened? Oh, and yeah. it was the guy who got the guy from the garden who got who got him grounded. Yeah, because of the the poop. Because Gar- Cartman shat in his garden. Because of yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, is there anything I wanted to talk about? I don't no. know. I feel weird. I feel like we should play <laughs> Stick of Truth when it comes out and like when does it come out? March. Does it? <laughs> I really? think I think so, yeah. You would think like because of that ending it would be like coming out for Christmas. Well it was something. supposed to be and then well, they that's delayed the joke. it. Yeah, they delayed uh. it. That's why in the first episode they're like, Yeah, you're some kind of asshole. He just kinda makes people think it's coming and then sets it back even further. Just like you did the Black Friday. Oh, man. Uh, so, I mean, uh, let us know what you guys are thinking. I mean, uh, all, hopefully, obviously, you guys, most of you will have some time to really sit with it and dissect it. We literally just watched it. But uh, I give it a lot of props for its brilliance. Was it satisfactory? No. But I think that was the point. <laughs> and what do we walk away with? Oh, God knows. God knows. Mm. But it was funny nonetheless. I had good moments. It did. Any last thoughts, Steven, in the episode before we get into predictions or more nah, impo- more like a wish list? All right. Let's get into the wish list. The wish list. And yeah. now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. predictions. All right. Well, we got one more. What do we want? We can't. Uh, do we have like a Christmas episode? No. I, on a, I think they're going to bring Paul Walker into it. And it's in such bad taste, but I really think they are. Because it's, it's too ironic of a thing to have happened for them not to. It's too ironic. Hmm. Honestly. And I hate being that asshole. Like, call me an asshole for saying that. You're an asshole. But Steve. guy who stars in racing movies with fast cars dies in a car. I, I, that's, like, right up their alley. It's true. And, and also there's a, there's a lot of debate of, like, why is it only celebrities are mourned when they die? Yeah. When there's, you know, hunger going on. There's millions of kids dying every day. I mean, it, you, it really makes sense that they would make that episode, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I will give them a lot of props because they will, they're not afraid to go there. No. They will have no remorse. They're, it's going to be so controversial if they do. But nice. they're good at if it. they do. They're good yeah. at doing that, though. I can't think of anything. But the more you mention that, the more I feel like, eh, it kind of makes sense that they would do that. Maybe they'll do an episode just about After Buzz TV. No, yes. probably not. I would like to see Fast and the Furious, and because it's it, okay, that's Universal. What's what else is under the Universal? Maybe Universal and Warner Brothers gets together to create Fast and the Furious with Batman and Superman universe. Oh my god! Because that's how they can only save it <laughs> now that Paul Walker is gone. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! That's absolutely terrible. I, I mean, they're desperately trying to do something with that universe. Oh yeah, and they just they sh- you heard today they just shut down production on seven. And did they? Shut it down. Well, yeah, because they have to rewrite everything. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty then. Wonder Woman was cast today. She was. She's pretty good looking. There you go. Are we There's... done, Marissa? <laughs> <laughs> we're good. All right, where can they find you, Stephen Lemieux? You can find me on the Sleepy Hollow After Show next Tuesday at 9:30 p.m. at AfterBuzzTV.com and on Twitter at Stephen Lemieux. You can find me on Twitter at the Kylie Hodges. And you can follow us here at AfterBuzz TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Great trilogy. Thank you, Matt and Trey. We'll see you next week for the finale. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to hear what you about. Thanks again. Buzz, see you later.